It was a cold winter night in 1856. 17 slaves from Covington looked out across the frozen Ohio River and saw a chance to be free. But when slave catchers broke down the doors of their hiding place, one woman's actions changed the meaning of freedom forever. Margaret Garner uh, was so desperate and so afraid, she grabbed a butcher knife. Killed her daughter, wounded two of her sons. And she screamed that she would much rather have them dead than have them taken back into slavery. That horrific event was one of many that put Cincinnati on the map in the fight for freedom. A Cincinnati is sort of at a hub. As any river town, uh, especially one that was right across the river from a slave state, those are always important points and hot points. And at Lane Seminary, the Lane debates kicked off the Cincinnati abolitionist movement. The interesting thing about Lane was that a lot of the students were abolitionists and they were interested in uh, getting the word out, telling other people about slavery and the evils of slavery. And so they organized a large debate on the pros and cons of slavery. With the anti-slavery movement so prevalent, several prominent abolitionists emerged in Cincinnati, including Harriet Beecher Stowe. At the Harriet Beecher Stowe House, we get a glimpse into the life of the Beecher family in the mid-19th century. Cincinnati, because of its geographic location, again, if you think about it, right next door to slavery, became a living laboratory for her where she was able to observe the movement of blacks in and out of this port. Here we see Harriet's study, where the first drafts of Uncle Tom's Cabin took form. Most people knew about slavery, but they didn't know anything intimately about it, you know, and it never touched their lives. So she gave them somebody they could empathize with. Uncle Tom's Cabin, one of the major forces that caused America to take a deep look at slavery. From Harriet Beecher Stowe's fictionalized account to Margaret Garner's real life horror, Cincinnati is brimming with stories that shaped American history. The Mill Creek Restoration Project is planting seeds to keep those stories alive forever. Mill Creek was a major transportation route for thousands of slaves. So the Mill Creek Freedom Tree Program is a wonderful way to connect with the history of the Underground Railroad, um, as well as the struggles for freedom that are going on today around the world. Just a few miles from the Stowe House on the banks of the Ohio River sits the nation's newest monument to freedom, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. This building, the, the Freedom Center itself, celebrates uh, the lives not only of black people, but people of goodwill. Today, the plight and perseverance that defined the days of the Underground Railroad is celebrated right here at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center and remembered throughout Cincinnati.